Hey guys, it's Ingrid. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about gesso and how to use it on your projects. Basically, gesso is a primer and you're going to need it on a canvas or a piece of regular cardstock if you want to use mediums such as gelatos like you see here. Uh, I'm going to link to a gelato video which uh, showcases all the different ways that you can use gelatos, but you're also adding water to the project and that's why you need gesso. So you can see here I have a Starbucks card. I've got some white gesso, which is a fluid, as well as a paintbrush and some cardstock. That's it. Not much else. You can do the same thing with a canvas or fabrics or anything else that you need to prime to use mediums on that would normally soak into the paper. You're basically creating a barrier to kind of give you a little bit more time to play with a fluid uh, in some of your projects. So here we have some gesso. You can see I was pretty liberal with putting it down. And I'm gonna go ahead and just basically cover my sheet. I'm gonna speed through this really quick. I'm gonna show you two ways of applying gesso, but look at that amazing texture. When that dries, that texture gives you a little bit of tooth. It also gives you some interest underneath all the layers of what you lay down. And I'm gonna show you that at the very end, so be sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, of course, and click the notification bell, as well as give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So here you can kind of see that. I'm gonna now put that to the side. I'm, it's a full sheet of cardstock. Usually when I do this, I do about four pieces at once. That gives me 16 card bases to work from. I'm just gonna wipe this off onto my second piece. And this is the second way that you can apply it using a card. Very, very simple. Now notice that I don't add as much gesso because we're going with a much thinner layer here. So this card really spreads this out. And the nice part about doing it this way you get a completely flat surface, and I mean flat. It's really great. So if you aren't looking to have those brush strokes in the background, which, you know, in all honesty, is kind of cool, but that might not be what you're looking for on your project. It's just not the look you're going for. Then this is definitely the method that you want. Or you can also use a palette knife or a silicone spatula. I mean, whatever it is that you want to use to spread that. If you have a piece of cardboard, whatever, it really doesn't matter what you're using. But see how nice and flat that is compared to this one. This one has all that tooth and that interest with the brush strokes that were created. And those are kind of ridges that your medium or your pigments are going to kind of get caught in. And that can be very interesting. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like, here is a project I did with some gelatos. And you can see how the gelatos kind of got trapped in there. And it you have those interesting brush strokes. And that just kind of takes this card from a, just a regular card to a wow card because the user's going, wow, how did she do that? So thanks so much for joining me. I hope that helped. I've got a couple videos linked here at the end. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've tried black gesso, clear gesso, any other kind of gesso, and if you have any other tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.